I think the myth of a Long Island serial killer is, as big as it is, is because people think the chief of police of the 11th largest police department in the country was involved in it. I can't, I can't say it right now because if I say it, I'm gonna wind up dead. Do you want to start with how this entire thing started? It was a sex party. If you're not knowledgeable about Suffolk County, you think it's the Hamptons. It's not. It's the Amityville Horror. One night, some woman came screaming out of there and was running with no shoes on. Just think about what you have to do to sever a body into pieces. That easily could have been me. There are girls that are not lucky. I was really lucky. He's on the cover of Newsday for having sex with prostitutes in his police car, and they keep him as the chief. On what planet is that okay? He said your whole family's done. The thing is, once you make a deal with the devil, you can't unmake it. It's been 10 years since 11 bodies were found on Long Island. The case is still unsolved. We want to know why. I'm Alexis Linkletter. I'm Billy Jensen. Unraveled, the Long Island serial killer. A new seven-part podcast that tells the untold story of the Long Island serial killer investigation.